Hey folks, Jeff Roberts here from the Salado Wildlife Education Center. I want to talk with you this morning a little bit about one of my favorite groups of animals that we have here native to Kentucky, and that would be turtles. It's springtime, it's getting warmer, and a lot of our cold-blooded species of reptiles, like turtles, are slowly beginning to emerge from their winter hibernations. I want to tell you about turtles in general, and then we're going to focus on one specific species that I have right here in front of me, uh, crawling around in the leaves. Generally speaking though, in Kentucky, we have 14 different species of turtle, 14 different kinds. Now, 13 of them are aquatic. That means that they spend most of their time in the water and they are therefore designed to be uh, in that kind of habitat. They have a shell that allows them to glide through the water, a nice flat shell as you see here. This would belong to a common snapping turtle. This would belong to a red ear slider, a very, very common species of aquatic turtle. Again, you see a very flat shell. If we could see the feet here, they would be very large and fat, almost like flippers. They are designed to live in the water. 13 of them. The one species of terrestrial turtle or land living turtle that we have in Kentucky, only one is the Eastern box turtle. And I'm sure that it is a species that a lot of you have encountered at some point in your life. Now, at the shells, if we compare the two, you see that the box turtle shell is a lot taller. It's more dome shaped. And the unique thing here, and a lot of you probably seen an Eastern box turtle looks exactly like this one does right now. This is just a shell, by the way. Uh, the unique thing about box turtles is they actually have a hinge on the bottom of the shell that allows them to completely close up inside their shell. If you live on the land, there are a lot more predators that you have to worry about. A lot more things that you have to hide from. Things like coyotes, uh, skunks, raccoons, all sorts of mammals might try to make a meal out of a turtle if they could. So if you're an Eastern box turtle, it's pretty handy of an adaptation. Remember, adaptation is something that allows an animal to survive better. This is a really neat and handy adaptation that Eastern box turtles have. Let's take a closer look at an actual example here. The Eastern box turtles blend in very well with their surroundings and they occupy different types of habitats, but oftentimes they can be found in wooded habitat, so in the forest, but edge areas are a good place to find eastern box turtles, as are fields, pastures. They can be found in a lot of different places. Eastern box turtles are omnivores, which means they eat a little bit of everything. They eat plant life, like fruits and berries, wild strawberries, for example, and they eat a lot of bugs and insects, things like spiders, crickets, worms, all sorts of different things that they encounter on the forest floor. Now, let's take a closer look here. I wanna make sure that you all get a really good look. Our box turtles here at the Salado Center really are not that shy. If you encountered a box turtle in the wild and you go to pick it up, probably it's gonna look more like this. It's gonna hide from you. It doesn't know that you're not gonna hurt it, but these box turtles here at the Salado Center well, they're used to being handled. They've lived here for a really long time and they're used to being touched and handled. So they don't always hide. Now, one thing, if you only come away from today's lesson with one bit of information, I want it to be this. If you encounter a turtle of any kind, but especially a box turtle crossing the road this spring or summer, what I want you to do is, if you're able to do so safely, definitely help it cross the road in the direction that it was already heading. But what I don't want you to do is relocate that turtle or take it home as a pet. Eastern box turtles are very difficult to care for. They have very specific habitat and dietary needs. They would not make a good pet. And they can live to be 100 years in age. Imagine that, an animal that can live to be 100 years old can you imagine the kind of commitment that you're making if you're gonna take on a pet that can live to be 100 years old? So, if you encounter those turtles this spring and this summer, if you could do so safely, definitely lend a helping hand, help them cross the road if you can do so safely, but do not relocate and do not turn them into a pet. Wherever you found that turtle, 
that's where their habitat is. That's where their home is. That's where they know where to find food, water, and perhaps most importantly, a place to hibernate next winter. So thank you all for tuning in to today's creature feature all about turtles and specifically about the Eastern box turtle. And keep your eye out this spring and this summer during your travels. And whenever you can lend a helping hand to these turtles, do so, but then let them be wild. Don't turn them into pets, let them be wild turtles. If you have questions about turtles in general, Kentucky's turtles, about box turtles or any of the aquatic turtle species that we have, comment below and we'll get to those. Thanks for tuning in.